Welcome. This prayer Rabbi L.M. Tumizulu of Marifado. The title we want to discuss today is uh, Why Your Afro Hair Fashion Matters. Keep calm and flaunt your afro. Find uh, the seven reasons why your afro hairstyle matters. If you are a true Muntu or African mentally, how do you wear your hair? Who trained you that fashion? Sadly, there is a massive wave of hairstyle confusion perpetuated largely by Christianity and Islam. One young lady uh, had, has a blog where she said, I will never wear braids. They are from pagan Egyptians and represent serpents. Is your Afro hair fashion or style bothering others or even bothering you? Do you know really that your natural Afro hair style or style carries something others secretly, whether they know it or do not know it, envy and are in psychological dread and fear of your hair? Yes, truly, your Afro hair matters. Even in Islam, there is a lot of rampant racism and it involves a lot of things but on top of it also our hair you can see here this is a racism and a comedy depicted on national television this was on uh, ramadan just after ramadan racist troops in a ramadan tv satires angers black arabs voice of america english you can go to this website you can also go to al jazeera and have the same uh, report so those that are of Islamic orientation, among us the Bantus and melanin dominant humans, they do not like your hair. They do not like you. We have a video where we have demonstrated that beyond any reasonable doubt. Fear of Afro power. There are many, many reasons about this. This is the image of the Buddha 3,000 years ago. This is the Buddha there, wearing our Afro hair. Is a Muntu, is a melanin dominant human, same as this person now what are the major reasons why there is all this fear even hotels like hired hotel in the 80s terminated black female employees who wore this kind of hair which is called cornrows why does our hair make a lot of people uncomfortable here are the seven reasons why your hair matters follow us now as we go through these seven reasons very critical very important everyone who has full afro full melanin dominant hair must understand these reasons and many 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 more others that should come through self-discovery number one proof is because of the inherent nature of spirituality in our hair the ancient yoruba their civilization believed that one's hair is tied to their spirituality. Dada was the term given to those who wore locked hair or a spirit child who was born with locked hair. The, the, the website and reference is given there. Twisted locks like these ones, so found in Hemet like that, also found today among us a lot of our brothers, many of them following the Rastafarian uh, belief system, uh, were all about our power. Melanin dominant humans, anthropologists have discovered them in ancient Kemet with their hair still as locked as uh, shown in this image. Number two, Ubuntu Ma'ati identity verification. So it connects Ubuntu or Ma'ati or Bantus to ancient civilization, specifically Hamid. There it is. You can see Queen Nefertiti, Queen Zola. Zulu Zeritini princess, Swazi princess, a Zulu woman, and there it's only Bantus that can have this kind of proof, historical verification that we are the descendants of the wisest people who built civilizations, founded cultures across the whole globe, across the whole earth. There is the history of African hairstyles 3,000 years later today. This 3,000 years ago, and this is today. This is an ancient Egyptian man. Look at the hairstyle and look at the Igbo man. Look at their hairstyle. Same. Inside his blood, inside his spirit, inside himself, he knows where he came from. He feels it. It's inside him. Now, there is more proof. Ubuntu Ma'ati identity verification. 
That's how our hair operates. And others, they know it. Others have traveled over the world, have uh, studied everything, and they know these facts. Now, here is uh, the eight uh, Zulu kings. Uh, is a book uh, written by uh, John Laband. Also references the style saying married or senior Zulu women were crowned with com complexly worked top knots of hair and wore plated leather skirts. See, these are all the styles. You can see here the feathers of Mahati. Men, women actually wore those top knots to indicate their marital status. This is a book written by Ian Knight. You can get this book. It's very, very interesting. Look at the hairstyles. See the feathers of Mahati, which we have already indicated. This. All these uh, ancient Hamid uh, Bantu Nguni uh, collars. There again, there is the snake serpent on the forehead. It's, it's, it's very, very straightforward. Number three reason. The only physical symbol of divinity is our African hair in its natural state. The first known examples of dreadlocks dates back to Africa, where African royalty and nobility wore dreadlocks and dreadlocked hair, wigs, and other styles that appear today on bas reliefs, statuary, and other artifacts like this. There is a spiritual connection here. Dreadlocks were believed to be a cord, a connection between the pharaoh and the divinities. Basically, they had one dread for themselves and 13 others as a link to every other divinity. Ausari Je, Isisu, Oresu, uh, Neftides, Anobisa, and many, many others. And uh, some were kept as connections to their actual departed for parents or a mother. So what they would do when the parent dies, they would not cut their hair for a period of mourning. And then they would cut that hair after that period had uh, passed. We know that uh, in the 1990s, FedEx, uh, Korea, fired any of their employees who had uh, dreadlocks. There is uh, uh, evidence that we have given uh, in the description below. Why? Because of fear and plain hatred of dreadlocks. So that's uh, more uh, proof. Why uh, do you think that your Afro hairstyle matters? Yes, it matters because your Afro hairstyles bothers others by what it represents. There again, you can see here, Jamaica's high court rules the school can ban dreadlocks of all places on earth. Imagine that. At school, at work, black children and adults were told their natural hair was a dress code violation or a distraction in the classroom or at work. How could that be? You can see here, United States Supreme Court upholds locks ban in workplace. And this young fella, Clinton Stanley Jr., was chased away from school because of his dreadlocks. Why? What's the reason? We are giving the reasons and they are very credible and strong reasons. Number four reason. Natural, no chemical fashion was invented by people that wore dreadlocks, cornrows, and bantu knots. They invented this because we have natural kinky hair. No one else could have invented this because their hair is not kinky and does not allow them to do that. They would need to have rolls and pins to lock them and they use chemicals. But we are saying natural fashion here. Do you know that it was until 2014 that the United States military revised their appearance and grooming policies to be more inclusive of natural hair styles that were once banned see that so they now know that oh, well people are now no longer informed and then people do not know the six or seven reasons that we are giving today people just take them uh this hairstyle as a as, as a fashion or fashion consciousness number five reason psychological jealous here is a shocking psychological reason why they are attacking our hair left right center top and bottom there it connects us to the wisest people and Asian people, but there is more to that. In all honesty, it is not of our own will that we received or we have, or we have this super gift of hair. It came from our ancestors. It represents the universe engulfing our brain and our life. 
It is more than a fashion style but shows its importance for the black community as it allows us to trace back to the ancient African ancestors all over the earth. Because of this, those that are in those lands and are claiming those civilizations, they know that the owners are here. And because of that, they are filled and full of uh, jealousy. It is clear, therefore, that the current system demands either directly or indirectly that we should wear a hairstyle of their choice for spiritual control. But Newsweek here says, War on black hair, wearing braids, gets a black girls banned from a Malden charter school in Massachusetts. This is the guy in The Guardian. South African students speak out against aggressive ban on Afro hair. Black woman told to straight, this is in the Telegraph, straighten hair if she wants Harold's job. Members of parliament are told. Here, the major cause of all this problem, we have already elaborated on that and we are continuing to pour more evidence and more proof about that. This is the Himba boy in Namibia, 2008. This photo uh, was by Thomas Shaw. And this is a painted wall relief of Prince Kamweseti, 20th dynasty in Hamid. Look at the hairstyle, it's the same. And how did he wear this hairstyle? Because of the type of hair and also spiritual knowledge that's inside us. Again, there is more proof why they dislike our natural hair, especially dreadlocks. African cops and their dreads, East and Central Africa, poetic, artistic, musical genius, or musical geniuses, Bob Marley, dreadlocks. The following image here, this one, depicts dreadlocks and plays in Ghana as far back as 1890. This is their style, as far back as 1890. So, it connects us all over the shore. A true representation of ancient Egyptians can be proved through the Bejas, who are descendants of Hamitians. Their hairstyle, same. Is that you must take notice that most of the people now in Egypt or mid so called Middle East are descendants from Arabs who came from Turkey in the 7th century? Also, the language of the Beja, similar and close to classical ancient Egyptian languages, is a Bantu language. So, natural hair, this natural hair that we're showing here, is proof of ancient Hamid or Egyptian civilization, Afro society. That it was an African civilization. So don't argue with anybody who comes up and says, Oh no, this and that. There is the proof. Historical proof that our ancestors were the Hamitians. With others, Dololo, they have nothing to offer. The name Beja itself is derived from uh, Amenemat. One who called uh, it Ijawi or Bejawi. Bejawi. These are the people, this is the modern uh, Bejawi, and there in ancient times. It's quite uh, clean. Number six reason is because they know that there is power in our hair. Once we know these things, power starts to ooze out of our hair. This is one of the greatest military strategists and fighter and warrior and hero that I know very much, Dedan Kimath. I, can, I call him Dedan, Dedan Hamid. And his brother, Wambararia, in the uh, Abadare Forest, 1953, when they were in the Mau Mau and fighting for the uh, freedom of Kenya, or a country that was then demarcated as Kenya. We don't recognize our countries here uh, on Amarifado or Hamiti Buru Ethics. African men wore their hair in a distinctive style whenever they were about to go to war or to some form of competition or they were engaged in some vows. This gave a non-verbal signal to their families that they are going to do something whether it would end in possible death or victory that family would know. And they would not talk about it. Their family would simply respect uh, their approach and their desire. But this photo was left outside a British military camp in Muranga and is also uh, given here from uh, the Dani Kimathi uh, Foundation. So that's number six a reason why they hate our Afro hair style. Number seven a reason is that it is more than fashion. It causes us to recognize ourselves in our ancestors in the stone and the golden images that they left. 
Uh, this is truth and confirmation that we are greater and uh, we were created first. Remember the universe that I spoke of. And that we are from the original seeds that were put on the earth. You are the blueprint of life. It began with you and it will end with you. Therefore, stop being fooled by your creation or your other fashion that destroys your natural hair. Because there are others that hate you for being that which we have already described. The first, the original, the seeds, the spiritual, the connection, and the natural. So this truth is in stone and was left by our ancestors. See the Afro here, the universe. The most important reason why we should keep our natural hair in the best state of its naturalness as possible. Unless conditions demand otherwise, we should keep it as fashionable as possible because it represents the fact that we are children of the stars. We are children of the universe. You can see the map of Africa is a Fibonacci. This is how our hair looks like. We are the only people that have a hairstyle or the type of hair that suits and fits a lot of mathematics, a lot of uh, sacred geometry, wisdom, understanding, cosmology, cosmogony, and a lot of information is stored inside and demonstrated by our hair. Our hair defies gravity, goes up instead of down. Look at that. We are children of the star 9 Ether. It is, this is the universe or the Milky Way where we are. And this is the ankh of life. And this is the style of hair nine. And when you turn it around, it becomes carbon 6666. So this is our hair explaining and demonstrating and reminding us who we are, our identity. For more information, send an email to us on Join It Marfado. You must never be ashamed of your ancestry. You must wear your selected Afro hair style or styles with pride. Siabonga, Tualumba, Asante.